Good morning, you guys. How are you? Ruby and I wanted to show you a video that we have been looking forward to showing you for a while. We're going to show you how to do a really simple classic French twist. So I have gone ahead and prepped Ruby by doing some back brushing through all of this area, leaving the perimeter unback brushed. And how I did that, I'll just show you briefly, is I just took some slices. I did back to back slices this way down a mohawk section and then a couple underneath on the sides and I used my brush right at the base kind of pack that down a little bit so then what you're gonna do is you've got your pens ready for you to use we are going to use some of these and some of these. I don't even have my box organized. That's hysterical. I don't even have my right pens, but oh well, it'll be good. I've got some of these curved so they fit the head shape better bobby pens, so we're going to use these. I was going to use the, um, the tighter ones with the bumps on them, but we'll just use these today because I need to update my box. Well, anyway, so we're going to start by using our bristle brush and smooth across, if you can see this, the back of the head. Okay, stay on there. Okay, so I've got this all smoothed across. So I am going to take these grippy pins, okay, and starting at the bottom, crisscross a few of those up the head. So I've gone in with my first one and I've crossed that second one right across from it. I'm going to do a couple more right here. I hope you can see this and I'm not in your way. My big old ears. So I'm just making a little track right up the back of her head. Can you see that? Crisscross, crisscross. So that's pretty secure. Then this side with my bristle brush again just very lightly smoothing over these top layers because I don't want to brush that brushing, that back brushing out and keep some of that ruffly, rumply texture. I'm gonna pull this across this way, okay? Give me a ruby booby. Okay, then I'm gonna twirl it around my fingers. Did you see how I did that? my fingers, twirl it around my fingers, tuck that tail in or leave it out might be kind of cute. I'm just gonna cram it in there, okay? Then I'm gonna take these hairpins and pointing away, like towards the window, which you can't see, I am gonna grab a little sliver of hair and then when I get to the scalp, make a U-turn and cram it back in the other way, so I'm going in and making a U-turn. Okay, isn't that cool? And then these will secure in with that those flat pins I used. I'm going to even, up here at the swirl, do a couple. And you can crisscross these too, but that is absolutely beautiful, pretty secure. Look at that little tornado in the top. Isn't that cute? But I also wanted to show you if you are not as handy with the hairpins. I did this the other day in a demo when I was showing you how to do the back brushing and I just grabbed one of these clips, which I love, and I just did the twist and secured it with that. And it looked really cute and seemed like it might stay. So that's an idea. This would be cute too with just a little barrette or something here. You could stick some flowers in here. Or if you're weird like me, like a little plastic gnome or something would be cute in there. All right. I'm so glad. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.